Yo, what's going on guys, Bakersy, and welcome back to the video, and today I'm going to bring you a video around my top tips for streaming in 2018 slash 2019 on YouTube, because I believe that a lot of people, when I've actually been streaming, they've asked for advice, such as, how can I improve my streams, what do you need to improve streams, how do you get viewers, how do you get some loyal subscribers, how do you even get subscribers, how do you get people on your channel, so guys, please smash a like, subscribe, running around here for more daily, not for more daily Fortnite streams and other advice that you guys want, please comment down below other advice or videos you'd want to see, because I'd always like to do these kind of videos, where I'm talking to you guys, give you tips and tricks and stuff like that, off my own back, my own brain, my own thoughts, off the dome, but yeah, before we do that, roll the intro. Right lads, how is it going? Hopefully you're good, hopefully you have a fantastic day. This is coming out about 5 p.m. So yeah, hopefully you've had a great day. So this 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 this, this is basically going to be my top tips to how to become a Fortnite streamer slash streamer on YouTube in 2018 slash 2019. And I'm gonna be talking to you and briefing you guys around how I believe you should go around creating content on YouTube and how I believe that you should actually put yourself out there in the real world, put yourself out there in the digital world as well, and just trying to confront and come and show you're confident in front of people and show how you should do this. So let's get going. So the first top tip I'm gonna give you guys is that when you become a YouTuber slash a streamer, you need to have a plan. Have a sense of direction and pre-plan your future on the streaming service, such as if you're going on Twitch as well. It could kind of apply to Twitch, but this is more about YouTube, my eyes, but it's just a streamer. Because I do YouTube, then I'm gonna focus on YouTube. Uh, because once you know from the start that you want to be posting and uploading, it will give you a higher chance of being successful and having like the thoughts and kind of processing exactly what you want to do. Um, for example, my niche and my market, I chose Fortnite and I did change to FIFA, but then I chose the Fortnite of a couple of spells to try and FIFA because I do love football, as you guys know in the channel, I love football and I do love Fortnite as well. So I thought Fortnite allows me to, to play with people, allows me to bring my own character out as well. I feel like I'm good at shooting games, first person, third person shooters, whatever it is. So yeah, I chose Fortnite because in my opinion, when it was popping, I started it and it was a very popular game, such as Ninja hyping it, Myth, all them kind of guys hyping it. And with, with the generation that I kind of look at for my channel, so younger people, some older maybe play, but it allows me to kind of focus on the way I can get you guys involved in the channel. So yeah, however, like I said, I did have a brief spell with FIFA. I did do quite well, and with Pro 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 Evolution Shocker, but I feel like I am mainly for like, I'm designated just to upload on Fortnite. I do apologize now, I'm gonna quickly put this in the video that if you hear any noises outside, it is currently 20 to 11 at night. So I do apologize if you're hearing like stuff going on outside. I can't really help that. Uh, that isn't really my fault as people outside doing all sort of thing and also my flat i've got flatmates so you hear that stuff like that happen and yeah i can't enough about that so let's get into the next top tip secondly i'd advise being consistent being consistent is so important and to post as much as you can because the more content you post on your channel will also increase the chances of gaining active subs like becoming a youtuber gaining active subs is so important when you're streaming and all just subscribers in a sense because it's so difficult on youtube when you start up to gain your first 100 subscribers as a streamer because You've got no one watching you, you don't have a background really, and once you start getting a few couple of people, then you will start to grow, you will start to grow honestly. Um, try and get some subs that know you as a person as well, so maybe like friends, family, school friends, school associates, people like that who can just support you to your first 100, because your first 100 subscribers are actually your hardest, I'm not going to lie, because you will have no one watching you, like I said, for a while. But once you get going, it will be very effective. So showing that you're serious and showing that you post, hopefully one every two, every one to two, three days, hopefully daily if you're a streamer, being consistent will not only show your intent of seriousness, but it will show that you're very engaged on your own channel, engaged with the content to get your... And try and get subscribers involved as well. Make sure when you're being consistent to know your path. Like the first one I kind of gave it, have a sense of direction and be consistent. Third, I'm going to say having good graphics. Having good graphics on your channel isn't necessarily the most important thing, but it does honestly improve the way that people look at your channel and how professional your channel can look. Such as, I'm starting to make my own thumbnails now, but I did use have people that made them for me and they were fantastic. I'm trying to make my own thumbnails to kind of have a sole channel, a whole channel art of my own, because I believe like it's the best way to do it because it really does kind of bring out the sense of it's my channel, I want to do everything my way, that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. But however, having good graphics and ch channel design, such as a good banner, nice logo, and thumbnails will attract viewers. As an example, I like to keep my thumbnails quite bright, 
and show a clear connection with the stream tiles. Just subscriber squad, sub squads on the thumbnails you guys have seen recently. New legendary shotgun, it says new legendary shotgun on it. So make sure your thumbnails aren't like a, a mash of random things, colours, words. Make sure that it's very designed and designated for your chosen niche in YouTube. Um, Photoshop is also available for free. There are like download links on YouTube, which is illegal, but it's on YouTube, so it's kind of legal at the same time. So if you if you learn the backgrounds and learn how to do that, then that can help you out to make good graphics. Um, yeah, I'm just saying like, basically having a good looking channel will attract viewers, but other than attracting viewers, give you some self enjoyment as well. My my part, like having a nice banner, do my thumbnails, it kind of makes you think, yeah, I'm good at this. I like this. Like. If you're feeling good about something you're creating, 100% it will it will grow. Like your channel will do well if you're enjoying it and having a direct impact from something you are doing. So number three, having good graphics. Make sure you have good graphics. If you guys want any questions uh, answered that isn't in this video, do comment it down below in the comments because I'm always open to feedback and stuff like that. Four, accept that you are learning. On YouTube when you're starting, you are learning the ropes. So make sure you actually don't think, oh, I've got to get 100 subs straight away. Accept that you're having, you're going through stages. YouTube takes quite a while. YouTube, there's some people out there that have been for eight years and they've got big on their sixth year. So you just got to know that you are learning. You're not always going to have that instant click and stuff like that. I'm quite lucky myself because I've been streaming for less than a month, and less than a month, less than a year, and I've only got over 1k subs, and recently I've blown up, like, my channel has gone up, like, what, 80 subs in the past two days? To other YouTubers, that is not a lot, but to me it is, and I've got a lot of gain, I've got a lot of gain, I've got a lot of actives through the fact of what I do. Um, yeah, I apologise once again. Um, but yeah, streaming on YouTube can be stressful and annoying because over time things might not kick off the way you want to. Don't let that get you down. Um, because it might not kick off the way you want it to and hope it to to gain subscribers straight away. Remember that when you've got no subs, you ain't going to be in the recommended, you're not going to be up on the list. But make sure, yeah, you just accept that you're learning. Make sure to research uh, stuff such as this, things such as TubeBuddy, other YouTubers as well advice. Make sure to just research as much as possible around YouTube to become big. Um, however, learning the ropes and gathering around the standard around YouTube and the way you can stream is vital, I believe, because once you know what to do, gaining viewers and subscribers will come. You just got to be patient as well. Patience is the key word on YouTube. And try to maybe find YouTubers around you that you can kind of gain knowledge of, such as myself. I've come a really good friendship with a guy called Travis. A top Trav is in my recommended channels. Go and check him out. He's a great YouTube streamer like me. He's returning today at 4.30. I think this video is already out when he's streaming. So I might put it out at 4. It's about 4 or 5. I don't know yet. But... I don't know why I brainstorm, but yeah, that's one thing that I do in my videos, but don't worry. Um, yeah, I don't have Travis, he's absolutely fantastic. He gave me advice, helped me out, and yeah, he's absolutely fantastic. So, right next, you've got equipment. Having the best equipment on YouTube is decent, it allows you to stream with the best quality you can, it allows people to show like you have got intent, you've got in you've got seriousness around your channel. Having a decent gaming start will significantly increase the chance of getting subscribers because like I said, showing you're serious while streaming and having the best game accessories available to you is always a good thing such as a good video capture device, such as an Elgato like I've got, microphones, it's Blue Snowball slash Blue Yeti. Um, you can get cheaper webcams and cheaper um, microphones than the ones I've got. I just wanted the best kind of qualities because I am serious about this. I want to make my YouTube channel blow up. I want, to, I want to try and do as much as I can on YouTube. I may not never get a lot of subs. I may never be brilliant, but it's something that I want to strive to do. I want something to success to do so. It's just something I really want to try. I got passionate about it, so I bought the best things possible to me, and it was a gift for my present uh, parents. So it's always that. Yeah, to make sure you have the best equipment. If you can't get such as the Blue Snow or Blue Yeti, there are other options. There are alternatives. You've just got to think about your price range as well. Also, um, such as a gaming PC. Uh, my gaming PC is relatively cheap because it was like one point one thousand pounds, but reduced to around five fifty because it was a clearance range PC. So. It's not the best PC, but it does what it needs to do. It allows me to stream. It allows me to do PC streams all this time. So, yeah, it's great. But if you don't want a PC, gaming laptops are out there, such as Alienware that Travis has got. But, obviously, it might not work. But make sure to do your research, like I said, learning the ropes. And it kind of all links in together as you're starting to see. Sixth, you have got software. Streaming software such as OBS, Streamlabs OBS, or XSplit. Um, you can use the stream and having good software. Other software such as editing software, you've got Sony Vegas. Sony Movie Platinum, Windows Movie Maker if you really need it, if you're free. Just start up a decent channel, you just need a good mic and just what you can actually like stream off. Imagine if you don't have OBS or you don't stream as OBS, you can stream off PS4 free of charge. 
You can get a PlayStation camera, which isn't like a web, it is a webcam. It's like 20 quid, I believe now, pre-owned, so you can use that. But yeah, software and kind of like accessories and stuff, like gaming consoles and stuff. It's all so brilliant, but always just, always kind of think on YouTube about how I can improve this, how I can do that, because I'm trying to think in my head now, pre-planned for my channel, as if, like these kind of advice videos, I want to start doing more, so make sure to comment down below as well what kind of advice videos you want. But software is important, such as OBS, Streamlabs OBS, XSplit, they're all free to download on a gaming PC, laptop, whatever you've got, not phone obviously, but um, yeah, but you can stream through PS4, Xbox I believe can stream straight to Twitch, I believe, such as PS4 can as well, as well as uh, YouTube. But yeah, software is also important. Next, you've got your content. Make sure to promote your content as much as possible. You can do this through creating social media pages. I feel like that's a great way to promote content, such as through Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, because it allows you to interact with subs as well. Make sure to use Discord. Um, that's always a great way to actually interact with uh, people. I've got my own Discord server. I'll put it in the description if I remember. Uh, when actually editing this and uploading it but yeah that's also a great way to interact with your fans interact with the people who are closest to your channel and also make sure to promote it as much as possible because it allows you to get a i don't know it just allows you to promote your streams allows you to promote your content free of demand free of choice as long as you've got the stuff to actually do it so yeah twitter snapchat instagram even facebook if you really want to i don't use facebook because i think it's pointless it's just for memes nowadays um but yeah they're the kind of things you can use discord skype Whatever you can do, imagine it can do it. It's all free, so use it. However, when you want to promote your content, don't, and I stress, do not go into people's streams and put I'm live or sub to me or try you sub for sub. Because I'm telling you now, if you do YouTube for your 100 subs and you do sub for sub, your channel will do terrible. Like, your channel won't thrive, your channel will die. Just the fact that you've got so many inactive subs and there's just no point in you doing it because. It just is very pointless, I'm not going to lie. Don't stream when you've got sub for sub. Don't stream when you've got people that ain't going to watch because one, it will kill your motivation, kill your self-esteem. Three, I know subscribers can be a number, but they're very important on YouTube. So make sure they're actually legit people, all right? Don't go through. And also, it's quite disrespectful to a fellow streamer. Like, I get quite a lot. I'm live. Can you raid me and all that stuff? If you ask, you will never receive. I know you get in life that if you ask, you shall receive. When it comes to streaming, it's a completely different ball game. Do not, do not promote your content on streams. Don't be like, oh, maybe like, oh, can I? Can you check this video out, please? If you if you've been there for a long time, but don't use them as a catalyst to try and grow your channel because it's it's not a very good thing to do, really. To be completely honest. And finally, last but not least, you have video tags slash description. When streaming, make sure that you have relevant tags and a decent description as it will rank you higher when people search around the game slash genre. You may be streaming from game to from yeah, genre from gaming to such as like from film. So if search for me, example, I do gaming Fortnite, so I have Fortnite tags that I like to do tags myself, so it kind of shows I've created them. I don't like to copy tags off other YouTubers because one, plagiarism, two, it won't come up, so if you use apps such as TubeBuddy. I couldn't mention this right now. There are things you can use to track your channel progress, such as Social Blade, TubeBuddy, VidIQ, all good free of demand stuff that will allow you to look at your channel and how it's growing, and also look at trends as well. And also make sure to use websites, such as I do Fortnite. Fortnite Intel allows me to see like leaked stuff, so I can maybe bring out videos, I could bring out new shotgun, and bring out skins on stuff that you haven't seen before, or my thumbnails. Stuff like that. So yeah, make sure to use good video tags and descriptions. Video tags and descriptions that are relevant to your niche in the market, your genre, your gaming, whatever you're focusing on on YouTube, because it will always, it will always improve and kind of optimize your content as much as possible. But finally, finally, I just want to say, have fun. Have fun when you're streaming. Enjoy when you're doing it. If you stream and you lose the fire to stream, quit. Like if you're take a break maybe but i would say personally if you don't enjoy streaming or do stream a certain game switch up the scene like if you need to switch up the scene make a video on it i've done plenty of update videos as my friends take the mic out of me for but so yeah, just switch up the scene like this video is gonna be very maybe dull to you guys but i want it to be like an explanation video sitting down kind of video so yeah hope you guys enjoyed make sure to smash the like button and subscribe make sure when you also do youtube to keep your audience entertained hopefully having this video thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys next time peace